decided to go for a walk today. Uh, and this might be a vlog of day in the life, week in the life, random, randomness. I don't know, but I was feeling kind of uh, yesterday and I really didn't get outside and walk. And I started off the week good, walking Sunday and Monday. And then Friday, it was just really hard. Um, I come home from work and I've been exhausted, like to the point where I literally come home, take off my shoes, flop on the bed, and I was out. I was out cold until the phone woke me up at like seven. Uh, I've been taking naps every day, just feeling exhausted. But on the days that I went walking early in the morning, it felt good to get it out of the way. Like it wasn't gonna, cause it just doesn't work out at the end of the day. I'm just so exhausted, so exhausted. So, um, and I've been feeling a little, eh lately, kind of a little down, a little sad. <laughs> so going for a walk outside always makes me feel better. I was feeling blah a little bit. And then I started thinking to myself, well, you know, what's, what's going on there? What's wrong with that? And I think what it is, is that in many ways, wax and YouTube has become kind of all-consuming and I do it because I absolutely love it and so it's not going to stop but it's my word of the year was balance and I'm constantly looking for that balance and August was tough and I know I talked about this in the monthly check-in video but I also miss just going outside and miss hiking. I haven't gone hiking in forever. I miss photography. I miss scrapbooking. I miss card making. And there isn't enough time to do all those things and YouTube and everything, cultivating friendships and all of that. You know, when I work full time, I work out of the house majority of the time. And uh, so I don't know. I don't know what September will bring, but I think it's just a little bit of needing some balance again and, and looking for that balance. And balance isn't, you know, stagnant. It's not, it's not sitting still. I mean, if you look at a balance pose, even in yoga, try standing up on one leg, right? That's balance. And you're constantly wobbling and constantly, you know, self-correcting on one side or the other to stay in balance. And I think September needs to be, for me, that little bit of a self-correction, uh, not let one hobby, one thing that you love become so all-encompassing that you forget other parts of yourself. And that's my struggle right now in this month. And that includes my health. And that includes other things. I used to walk every day. I used to do yoga three times a week. Like all of that stuff just has fallen by the wayside. And there's never going to be enough time or hours in the day or the week to do everything. So, you know, it's just like it's cutting back on some things so you can make room for other things. Uh, and that's... And that's where I am right now. So one thing that I haven't done a good job of is uh, clean. So I think I need to clean the shower or the shower glass. I hate the shower glass. I've cl I cleaned the shower. It's just the glass part I haven't done. And so just tidying up a little bit today. I bought a couple of things from, really one thing really, from Home Goods last week to kind of make my place a little a little more Halloween-like, so I can show you what I got. And then I still need to get pumpkins, like, you know, from the store, like real little. I like getting mini pumpkins from Trader Joe's. I like the white ones, so doing all that. And uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I might even call Emily and if she's not doing anything, um, you know, maybe take a drive to Pescadero. I know it's been a long time since we've gotten this fresh baked artichoke garlic bread. Artich maybe it's artichoke and herbs. 
but it's so good. And when it comes out of the oven, like hot, it's just the best. And she's been wanting to do that. So maybe today is a good day to, if she's not busy with her friends, she always has plans or she's always going away for the weekend. Um, but that might be something to do. So we'll see. But I think back on some of the memories I have. And I think it was two years ago, I was doing December daily, which I don't know if I'm ready to do that this year, but I was doing December daily. And um, I don't know why there's a car behind me driving super slow, <laughs> but I was doing December daily and on my birthday, which is in December, I took the day off and I drove down to the lighthouse, which is over an hour away. And um, I drove down to the lighthouse. That truck is still going slow. <laughs> it's like, are they trying to figure out what I'm doing or are they looking for something? I don't know, but um, went down to the lighthouse and just, it was a gorgeous day. And I remember everything about that day. I remember that it was blue skies and I remember taking photos of the lighthouse and listening to Christmas carols in the car. And I think I just, a lot of the memories I have are doing things outside and I've been doing quite a bit indoors for the past, I don't know, maybe two years. So we'll see again, trying to find that right balance. So I'm almost home. I'm going to, I'm breathing heavy too. <laughs> so I'm going to stop now. Get myself some water because I'm thirsty. I went and got a facial yesterday and uh, it was uh, something I'd been, I had, a, I had a gift certificate and I've had it since, gosh, what, December of last year and uh, I hadn't used it. And so I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get a facial. And I did. And it was fantastic. And <laughs> Uh, if you've gotten facials, you'll know that a lot of times they'll do what they call extractions. And I like extractions. Not everyone does because it can be painful. But, um, you know, she's like, okay, I'm going to do extractions. And inside I'm like, yay, get shit out of my face. And um, she did. And then, you know, she's doing stuff, but she kind of missed my nose. And normally on my nose, you got a lot of little stuff in there, you know, and little little whiteheads and little things, right, in your pores. And I'm like, she's not going to do my nose because the nose hurts. The nose freaking hurts. And, but even though I know it hurts, part of me was like, but it's not, she's not doing a great job. She doesn't get my nose. <laughs> so, um, and then she says, oh, I found, you have two whiteheads. So I'm going to get those out. Is that okay? And I said, yeah. She's like, I'm going to use a needle. It might hurt a little bit. And I'm like, that's fine. And I'm like, oh, two whiteheads. Okay. <laughs> and so it didn't, it, that didn't hurt. That did not hurt. She wasn't done. She did get to my nose and she's like scraping things on the side. I mean, I can't see what she's doing, but I can feel it. And I'm like, oh, there we go. That nose now is pulse. Like I can feel my heartbeat coming through my nose. But there's something satisfying about knowing like she got, she cleaned my face. She cleaned my pores out and everything was good. And it was a brightening facial and oh, it was so relaxing. It was 75 minutes, which is fantastic. 75 minutes, all, you know, the masks and the lotions. And then I asked her at the end, she said, do you have any questions? And I said, well, yeah, like how's my skin? Right. And then she says, oh, you know, really good, which that made me feel good. She said, just a little bit dehydrated. And she's like, and I said, oh, okay, yeah, I know. And then she says, you can fix that by drinking more water. So here I am drinking more water. I'm always, I'm probably always dehydrated slightly. I don't like water. <laughs> I mentioned this in, I mean, I'd have been in the Facebook group. Um, I mean, I like it more now. I do. It has to be, it has to be filtered water though. I cannot do tap water. I can taste all the little chemicals and minerals and fluoride and whatever else is in there. I can taste it and it doesn't taste good. So as a kid, I didn't know this until, you know, much later in life. It didn't really hit me. I constantly, constantly had headaches as a child all the time. And back then, I mean, I'm a, a kid of the seventies and eighties. I 
they didn't, there was no bottled water. No one was selling bottled water. That didn't happen until maybe late eighties, nineties. Um, and so, and I didn't like tap water. Just, I couldn't, I mean, literally I'd be like, you know? And so I think the reason I had headaches almost every damn day was because I was dehydrated as a child constantly. So it's just, now it's just trying to make it a habit to drink water all the time. I like drinking water. Like I don't mind it again, if it's purified or whatever, as long as it's not tap, but, uh, I just don't think about it. So I need to think about it. I used to have an app called water minder. I think it was called water minder. And I'd go in there and you know, how many glasses I've had. And then I stopped using it like everything else. Again, this is a little bit of me trying to find my way back. If that makes sense to when <laughs> I won't say better times, but when I was more myself, there's gotta be a siren in every single video or loud motorcycle. I mean, I think it's just a, a thing now. It has to, has to happen. So it's 9.51 and it's Saturday morning and I am out of spinach. I'm out of mushrooms. I'm out of peppers. I'm out of the normal things I would do for like an egg scramble or an omelet. But I still have those little egg whites, egg white bites, those like Starbucks things. Uh, they changed it to Kirkland. It used to be Starbucks, but you know, those things, this is what I learned in marketing. I, I majored in business with a marketing, I don't know, what do they call it? Marketing <laughs> concentration. I don't know, but one of those things that we learned back in the day was how um, private labels, it's the same brand. It's still Starbucks. It's just Kirkland is buying it and putting their private label on it. Same thing. You would see that. You could see that with certain bottles. I'm just going to take this mayonnaise here for, for a second. Like if you see another, this is, might be a bad example because mayonnaise, I think they all look in the same bottle. But if you see something like the same color, the same label, but it's like a private label, it's still Best Foods. It's still Best Foods making it. It's just, uh, you know, a private label. And uh, so I always look for those. I've seen those two with like Tide. I think Kirkland does a lot of that. It's Tide. They just put their private label on it. Um, I learned that back in marketing back in the day. Okay, I'm going to take my air fryer out and uh, I'm gonna have, ooh, those egg whites. And I don't know, I'm honestly not super hungry. I never wake up hungry, never. Like I don't eat breakfast. My ideal schedule would be eating breakfast at like 10, 10.30, having lunch around two, maybe even holding it until, depending if I ate a really high protein breakfast, maybe even making it to like four or five and then just having an early dinner. And like, that would be, I do that sometimes. It just depends on what I have for breakfast. So I'm gonna get the eggs. Yes, still have them. And then I'm gonna make, my coffee, this air fryer gets loud, so I won't record while I'm doing that. I'm going to make my coffee, my Nespresso. I do have to descale that machine today. So it's been giving me that kind of warning light. So one of these days, it's going to stop making coffee for me. So I'm going to do that and uh, clean the counter here because it's a little messy back there and then come back. While my eggs are cooking, I figured I can show you really quick what I got from TJ Maxx. And it's this, um, this like spider web runner. So it actually was a set of two and I decided to put this on the coffee table here. I've got little pumpkins out. So I started decorating, um, a little bit and I've got another kind of pumpkin over there and 
let's see if we can get this. No, I can't. I don't know what I'm doing with this camera here. Um, there we go. <laughs> I've got a pumpkin there and another little pumpkin there. And I've got some leaves hanging there. So I'm not going to move this camera around too much because I don't want to give myself sick, but um, that is where I've put everything. Um, so let me flip it around so you can see where uh, the other piece of this, this went. Okay, and then the other runner or the other piece of this is this black and white like table runner. And it's, uh, I just put this on the dining room table and um, my little tree here, I love this little tree. This was a tree that was given to me by one of my bosses that I got. Um, I got this for my birthday and she bought this for me and it was a tiny little tree. And I will show you this, um, how, I don't know if you could see how big it's gotten, but this was like half the size when she gave it to me over 10 years ago for my birthday and it survived COVID. <laughs> it survived a lot of things. So when COVID happened, I was actually in, I was away on vacation the week before we had the shutdown and I could not get in my office to get my plants and things. And I had gorgeous orchids, like gorgeous orchids. And unfortunately they could not be saved, but my admin was able to get in and save some people's plants and I told her to save my little Norfolk pine here and she had it for two years. She replanted it. It got even bigger. And then when we went back to the office, she gave it back to me. Um, so there's my little plant and that's a little story of my, my birthday pine that um, will always remind me of my boss, Carol. She was a fantastic boss. She is retired and then since moved to the East coast to New Hampshire. But, um, yep, yeah, that reminds me of her every day. So my egg bites are ready. They're done. And this is, yeah, this is what they look like. And I'm going to have that and my coffee and just hang out and watch a little TV here. This is where I like to eat, but check this out. I don't know if it's going to show, but this, and this is why I eat here a lot because <laughs> this table rises up and it's like a TV tray. Look at this. This is awesome. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this on. I've been watching Dark Matter and maybe it'd be good to see my face, right? Probably better see my face than my legs, but I wanted you to see my egg bites. Um, I've been watching Dark Matter on Apple TV. And then what else? Oh, you know, one of my friends here uh, that I've made through the wax community, she was telling me that I have to watch Selling Sunset because I was like on those days where I'm exhausted and I'm tired. And there are just some days where, you know, when you make YouTube videos, you edit YouTube videos, and then you watch some YouTube videos. There are just some days where I'm like, no, no YouTube today, <laughs> like going back to that becoming all encompassing. And I'm like, what happened to like other shows that I used to watch? I wanted to watch Game of Thrones. So I'm watching Game of Thrones again. I think I'm on episode like eight of season one. And then I've been wanting to watch Dark Matter on Apple TV. That was a book that I read years ago. And that book was so propulsive. I kept, I could not put that book down. And my mind was like, pew, pew, like every time it's like mind blown when I was reading that book. So I saw that they made it into a series. Um, I read it many years ago. I think there, there's some things that I'm like, I don't remember that in the book, but that's what happens when series are made, but it was, it's being written and produced by, or one of the producers is the author of the book, Blake Crouch, who I think also wrote, was a writer for the show Twin Peaks, I think. So anyway, watching Dark Matter and, and then Selling Sunset, because there are days when I come home, I don't want to think, like I really don't want to think. And that's when I watch Bravo. I watch below deck. I watch the housewives because I just want like nothing. I just want to watch someone else's drama. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, so she said, you got to watch selling sunset. So I started binge watching that last night. I think I'm on, I think I'm almost done with the whole season one. There's like seven, seven or eight seasons. So I'm going to watch that because that's what I feel like doing. And it's all about asking myself right now, what sounds good right now? And that was something that I used to do years ago when I was doing yoga and I was getting certified and all that stuff. I, I would read a lot of wellness articles and well-being. And I remember one of them was just 
instead of going through your day, like just you just moving through the day, like you, you're just moving along and you can't even remember what happened or what you did. Or at the end of the day, you feel like I didn't enjoy any of it, or I don't even remember any of it. And so one of the things that I remember reading was, well, meditate. I started meditating again. And the other part was just pop, like, just stop. I always have music or headphones or podcasts or audiobooks or YouTube or, you know, there's always someone talking <laughs> in my ear or, you know, I'm, I'm watching talk, right? And um, it sometimes it gets to be a lot and it's like, how about just hearing nothing? Like just quiet. So I have been meditating again and that that's been really, really nice. And then part of that is asking myself, like, just stop. Like right now, I don't have any music on. I don't have TV. Yes, I'm talking to you. Um, and I will be watching TV in a minute. But having these moments of just quiet and being outside or just, I've even had my coffee out in my little patio and enjoy the sun out there and not done anything. And and it's been it's been nice. It's kind of like a reset. But the question when you pause is, what sounds good right now? Like what sounds good? Like asking yourself, what is it that sounds good right now? Is it cleaning the kitchen? Is it just, just watching TV? Is it hanging out with friends? Is it calling a friend? Like what coloring, what sounds good right now? Like, and, and really thinking, like really thinking inside yourself, like what feels good right now? What would feel good to do right now? And, uh, I've been, doing a little bit of that. And right now it's eating my eggs and pitching in front, in front of the TV, watching uh, maybe one or two episodes of Selling Sunset. That's what would make me happy right now. And so that's what I'm going to do. Hey, so since you last saw me, I, what did I do? I uh, watched only one episode of Selling Sunset and then I decided to not stay on the couch and clean the bathrooms, which I did clean that shower, that shower glass, which is such a pain in the butt to clean. I used some Dawn Power Wash to do it. I'm like, you know what? I, cause I, I've, I've been seeing the, the Power Wash and I have some and I've only used it on dishes, but who was it? Someone on the Facebook page had said they thought it was like a stain remover for clothes. And then when you look on the site, you know, yes, it can be used for laundry, can be used for all kinds of cleaning the stovetop. You know, if you have like a electric stovetop, which I do. And I'm like, I'm going to use it on the glass because in the past I had done that, used Dawn with a little bit of vinegar to clean the window or glass. And so I did, I didn't do the vinegar, but I did the power wash, which leads me to, I really want to get the, um, fall limited edition. I also saw someone share that on the Facebook page as well. There's the pumpkin spice, cranberry woods, and pine, I believe it is. So the Walmart, the closest Walmart to me is about 25 minutes away and they don't even have it. Um, they do have it across the bridge, but I'm not going to drive across the bridge because <laughs> you know what? What? I don't know if you guys have bridges. Well, depending on where you live, some of you do live near bridges or have to take bridges, but I think it's like $9, at least $7 to cross the bridge. It's ridiculous. And it's like $11 or $10 to cross the Golden Gate. Um, so I'm not going to do that. And then if I was going to order them and have it shipped to me, it was going to be over $20 for two bottles of power wash. So I'm like, I'll wait. I'm hoping Target will get them soon. Target is very close to me. And so, and I prefer shopping at Target anyway. So we'll see, fingers crossed, if they get, um, if they get the limited edition. And then I think this will be the end of the vlog, really. I don't have any other plans for today besides reading a little bit, um, filming my what I've been warming. So that's what I'm about to do and probably do my monthly check-in video today since, you know, I'm all set up here. And then I'll meditate just to kind of sit still for 10 minutes so I can take my blood pressure and um, I have a blood pressure. You can't see it from here. I don't think the blood pressure machine there. Uh, back when I was in my early 40s, my blood pressure was starting to creep up. Work was super stressful, you know, all those things. And um, then I got on 
on medication, which I hate being on any kind of medication, but I was like, I mean, you got to do it. It was 10 milligram dose, so baby dose. And um, then over time, I lost some weight. I was walking. I was being healthier, did yoga, all that stuff. And then I didn't need it anymore. My blood pressure had, you know, gone down uh, without being on the medication. And then about a year ago, started creeping back up again. So I'm back on a 10 milligram uh, and I don't, I have been really bad about checking my blood pressure every day. So they did send me an email, like, are you checking your blood pressure from home? If not, you can come in and get, get a, you know, your, a blood pressure reading. So I'm like, no, no, I'll do it. So anyway, that's, that's, I got to do that after that and maybe edit these videos and then pretty much the day will be gone. Um, but we'll see someone calls me or my daughter's like, let's go do this. I haven't checked with her yet. I haven't checked in with her yet because the girl does not wake up <laughs> till like two, two in the afternoon because she's usually out until three, four in the morning. But I remember those days. I remember I was out till 5 a.m. sometimes. I uh, hope my parents aren't watching this. <laughs> um, but yes, I remember. Um, so anyway, that's the plan. I think that's the end of this vlog. So Thanks for hanging out with me. And uh, I don't know if, if something fun happens, it'll be a different vlog. So thanks so much. Bye-bye.